Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So let's get to work on these stair railings. Now, I actually have two sets to make, but I'm going to focus on the ones for the first floor. So I started off with all the little spindles that I stained in the part two video. And I'm going to show you really quick how I made these extra spindles. They're actually just small dowels with wooden beads glued to them. Now you can glue the wooden beads together in any arrangement. There are several different sizes in the packet, but I used all the round ones because I thought they were just kind of cute after I put two on the little dowels. And after I put two and spaced them a little bit, I realized that they would be perfect to supplement the lack of the mass-produced spindles. Now, dolls, the little bag comes in several different colors, but I only use the dark ones, but you could use the dark ones, the light ones, and you could even paint them. So definitely allow your imagination to just run wild. I realized I was making quite a mess, and so I put all the spare ones into the center of my tape to kind of keep them contained and from rolling all over my craft table. And you see here me adding a little bit of Gorilla Wood glue to the spindle. Now these spindles have already been previously stained. I didn't allow the stain to get very dark. I haven't decided completely on whether I'm going to stain them darker or paint the additional spindles. But I just wanted to show you how I assembled them. So there I'm off to a good start. Now I've got 10,000 more to do. <laughs> so here I just want to show you how I attach some of my pieces now i'm adding little brass pins to the bottoms of these mass produced spindles because i really like the pin and glue method rather than just the glue because something like a railing is going to need additional stability so i have cut my hand reel and the base reel and now i'm showing you how i attach all those pieces together so i was just checking to make sure they were the right height and where they were going to line up and then I actually glued the pin into the handrail. And I laid that little piece there, I guess sort of like a jig to keep everything level while it dried. And so this is one particular way I assembled them. This little piece of the railing was very short. So I just kind of wanted to show you how I did on this one because it was a little bit different than when I do a longer piece or the side piece. So here, dolls, I'm showing you I've added my two mass produced spindles to the side and I'm adding in the ones that I created with the beads to the center. So I'm kind of creating a little my own pattern or my own design and I thought it looked really cute. I added the handrail and while I was waiting for the handrail and the bottom piece to set I did add the newel post to the side. Now if there's a time that you want to take your time and that is with the spacing between the spindles, you want to make sure everything is square and level because when the glue sets, you'd be really frustrated if you have to take it all apart. Plus the pieces are so fine and delicate, they could possibly break and you'll waste materials. So now I'm working on what I call the side rails and that's a bigger piece so i'm definitely going to need more spindles but when i started out doing this one i added full glue to the entire track of the bottom part rather than trying to space them in afterward i filled the base with glue i did add the mass produced spindles to the end per my pattern and then I let the glue get a little bit tacky I actually should have allowed it to get tackier but I didn't dolls again sometimes I struggle with patience as well I was really getting excited I really liked my design idea and I was really excited about getting it all together and I had to talk to myself a little bit and remember to practice what I preach so I took a little bit more time slowed down the process and eventually assembled all my pieces together, lined everything up, made sure everything was straight, and I had another rail. Now here dolls, I just wanna show you how to do a quick fix in case you run into trouble and you underestimate how many spindles you need. This is what I did to add an additional spindle. I kinda of turned it to a side at, at, the, at an angle and I had to kinda of slide it in under the bridge of the handrail and then space it back out 
So if you have to add additional ones, it shouldn't be too hard. I just wanted you to see that there in case you ran into that problem. Just make sure that if you add an additional spindle, you make sure you space them out so they're all even when you're done. So I'm racking up railings and I haven't showed you dolls how to do. Now I showed you dolls how to make the spindles and add the spindles to the top rail and the bottom piece, but I didn't show you how to add the pins. And dolls, when I say pins, I mean I use pins and glue to attach the pieces together. So let me show you really quickly. Now this is my newel post and these are the ends of my railings. And so I drill into the newel post a little bit, not all the way through, but just enough so that I can add a pin and attach it to the handrail. And I do that on the handrail and I do it at the base piece as well. Now you see me there picking up a small piece of a brass pin and I'm actually adding a little dab of the Loctite glue and placing it into the base part of the newel post and allow that to dry. Now you see I'm fitting those pins in at the newel post and at the part where the handrail is. Now I do have a little bit of Gorilla Wood glue there to attach them so they have so they're getting stability from the super glue the wood glue and the brass pins now i did use a little painter's tape to just reinforce it while it dries just to make sure everything stays tight because sometimes when wood pieces are drying they'll loosen up or come away from each other so i just did that to ensure that everything stayed flat and then i went around to do the same thing to the other side now this is the handrail I'm adding the pin in gently, trying not to disrupt the part that I just completed, but I'm pressing the pin in as far as I can on this side, and then I'll be adding glue to the pins to attach it to the newel post to seal it off. Now here you see me adding my holes to the newel post in the parts that will match the ends of the handrail, so everything will match and line up and fit really neatly and square. Now after I completed adding the pins, I allowed everything to dry for a little bit before I added everything together. So I worked on drilling the holes for the other newel posts to have them ready for when it's time to assemble the rest of the railings. But these are looking good. I feel really comfortable about the way they came out. So let's go ahead and pull off this painter's tape. I think they're stable enough. I think they look really great. Now, um, I don't want anybody to come for me about the beads that are not lined up. I have decided that is a part of the design. <laughs> now, if you want all of your beads to line up perfectly, you definitely take the time, as much time as you need to do exactly that. I didn't and I don't think my dolls will mind either. Maybe I'll line up the beads for the railings in the rooming house. <laughs> now dolls, another thing, if you wanna use more than one pin, that is absolutely allowable. I actually only put one pin in, but I drilled two holes because one of the holes was in the wrong place. So I'm gonna show you here how I add the pin. I'm putting a little bit of the Gorilla Wood glue where I'm actually gonna place the pin that's over the hole that's already been drilled. Again, it's the Gorilla Wood glue, and here are the pins that have been glued in with the Loctite Super Glue. I press the parts together and allow them to dry. Now I did add a little additional Gorilla Wood glue in between there, just to kind of make a connection, um, to just kind of seal off that space, I may have to add a little wood putty, but I did put a little bit extra wood glue in there. Now, dolls, my cut wasn't perfect and there was a little gapping. Now, if you measure properly and get your cut perfectly, you may not have any gapping. In my experience and all that I've seen, everybody needs a little putty sometimes. So now that everything's assembled, I just want everything to dry straight and square. So I put my one, two, three block there while it dried. And here is my completed stair rail for the second floor. I'm really pleased at the way that looks, dolls. I'm really, really excited the way this project is moving along. I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to paint it uh, or change the color in any way. But right now, I'm satisfied that it is completed. 
so I need to go ahead and work on the one for the third floor. Now, for those of you that don't get my notifications, always look for me on Mondays and Wednesdays after 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.